welcome to We Poets. My name is Sally Baker and I'm the host of We Poets. We Poets is a poetry show for boys and girls between the ages of 6 and 13. So if you would like to be on, please have your parents or your teacher call me. Tonight we have a very special show. We have four wonderful children here who are going to do a demonstration of a folding paper. And I believe it's called Origami uh, Paper Folding and they're gonna give us a demonstration after I interview each of them. So here we go with our first poet. This is a brother and sister, and then our second group is a brother and sister. So I know we're going to have fun. Hello, young lady. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. Good, could you look there at camera three and tell us your name and how old you are, please? I am eight years old and I, my name is Samantha. Good, and have you been on television before? No. This is your first time, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you nervous? Kind of. Oh, you're going to do very well. And you look so pretty. Did you pick out this pretty dress today? No. Who picked it out for you? My mom. Oh, that's good. And mom and dad are here, right? Yes. Good. Now, what do you do at school and at home to recycle so we don't throw things into the landfill? Um, we use, in school, we use, um, like, we use, like, um, like magazines and, like, calendars for collages and art. Good. And you're going to give us a demonstration after we uh, do our interviews, right? Yes. Well, thank you. You're going to do a good job. I know you look so pretty tonight. Now we're going to hear from Brother. Hello there, young man. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. Good. Could you look there at camera one and tell us your name and how old you are and what grade you're going to be in when school starts? My name is Eddie. I'm going to be in third grade. And how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. And what do you do to recycle at home and at school? Sometimes in school we make newspapers that are in books. Mm -hmm. And we glue them on and then we have pictures and books. Good. And what do you do to recycle your old cans and bottles and newspapers? Mm, sometimes we take take some pieces and put them into a collage. Good, good. And how about at home? What do you do with your cans and bottles? Mm, don't know. You don't know? I bet mom and dad probably puts them out in the garbage, right? For the garbage man to come around once a week and collect them? And do you ever take things to the recycle uh, center yourself and get money for the cans? Or don't mm -hmm. do that, huh? Okay. Well, you've been on the TV program before, right? Tell yes. us about the time that you were on, please. Very nervous. You're very nervous tonight? No. No, you weren't. No. And tell me about the first time that you were on my show. What did you do? Did the grandpa interview. And you talked about your grandfather, right? Yes. And you did a wonderful job. And you look so handsome tonight. I'm very proud of you for coming back a second time. Thank you. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. And now, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick little break, and then our second two points are going to come on. I'm going to interview them, and then we're going to do our demonstration. We'll be back in just a moment. And now we have another brother and sister, and they're going to tell us all about themselves. They haven't been on We Poets before, but I know they're going to have fun tonight and do a great job. So here we go. Hello, young man. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. Good. Could you tell us your name and how old you are and what grade you're going to be in when school starts? My name is Central and I am eight and I'm going to third grade. Good. What subject do you think you're going to like best to study in third grade? Science. Good. And why should boys and girls uh, study science in school? Because... They want to learn all about new things, right? Yep. Right. Now we're going to be talking about recycling. What do you do at home and at school to recycle things? Well, at school, every single year we get together and we talk about recycling. And we pick up trash at, um, uh, and recycle uh, cans and stuff like that. Um, every single day after we leave school. Good. You do that at home too? Yeah. Good for you. Well, I'm very proud of you. Now we're going to talk to your sister. Hello, young lady. Hi. How are you? Good. Look right there at camera one and tell us your name and how old you are and what grade you're going to be in when school starts. My name is Alani and I'm six years old 
and I'm going to go to first grade. First grade? What do you think you're going to like best about being in first grade? Crafts. What? Crafts. Crafts. Do you like to make things? What do you like to make? Look right there at the camera. Tell us. What do you like to make? Pictures? Yes. Uh-huh. Good. And tonight we're going to do some paper folding. Have you done that before? You've done that before. Oh, good. So you'll know just what to do, right? Um, yes. Good. Anything else you'd like to tell us about you before we start the uh, paper folding process? Okay. Well, I want to thank you for coming. You look very pretty tonight. And this is your first time on TV, huh? Well, you did a very good job. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. And now, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're going to take a break, and then the four children are going to come on and do some paper folding. So I know it's going to be fun. We'll be back in just a moment. the children have joined us and they're going to start their paper uh, demonstration and Samantha is our teacher so please Samantha go ahead let's start um okay. I guess wait do we do do everybody do I just pass out again does everybody have a piece of paper to start uh-huh there we go everybody has their sheet of paper so here we go teacher Samantha let's go yeah so you're gonna um, fold in a triangle. Nice and loud, please. You're gonna fold in a triangle. <laughs> okay, has everybody got their triangle folded? Okay, what's next? Then you're going to um, fold it up to the top corner, both sides. Go to outs, um, the outside and like for the creases. Okay, what's next? Then you're gonna open it up and you're gonna uh, like do a squash fold and like you squash it down. Squash it good and hard. And you do it on the other side too. Okay, the left side now we're gonna squash it. Okay, what's the next step? Um, got it. Then we're going to um, fold this down, like the top, um, flap down on both sides. Got it? Then you're going to Okay, what's the next step, please? Then you're going to fold this up. Everybody got it ready now? Okay. Then you're gonna fold in half. 
fold it in half now. And then we could take glue stick or um, tape and just tape these two sides together and then you got a petal. Oh. And you can make mint like six or seven, you can even make 12 more petals to make a big humongous flower. Oh, great. With the petals. Great. And if you want to like make a stem with them, oh, that's not really that good. You um, make three of them, glue, like tape or glue them together. You then you attach them with tape or glue on a stem, mm -hmm. like a roll of this stuff that I'm gonna teach later. And then you take another three, which like, okay. You take another three or as many as you're gonna do. And then you just tape it on the same stick. So it's like a flower. Oh, okay. And if you want to do, um, like, this one, you um, leave a little bit on the tip, and you cut stuff, so you cut it so it goes like that. Mm, okay. And you could also make different size ones. Oh. oh she needs some tape. Okay. You could also, um, make little like different sizes one is all you can make a really tiny one but you can make any like with any size square okay so okay so now what's our next project going to be we're going to make a bear going to make a what a bear a bear oh we're going to make a bear now you can make it with tiny um, squares or medium or like there's different sizes okay so give so, everybody their pieces of Do you want paper. a small, this one, this one, or this one? Okay. Small. small. I'm going to do it big. How are you guys doing down here with your project? Yeah. Good. <laughs> this is the first time we've had children do this project on Wee Poets. In 32 years, oh. we've never had uh, a paper folding uh, program. So I know you guys are really going to enjoy watching this on TV. And you can take a tape to school when school starts and show your classmates what you did. Okay, now, are we ready for our second project? Yeah. All right, nice and loud. Tell us what we're going to do. So first, we're going to fold it in a triangle again. It's okay triangle. if it does that. And then I'm going to fold it again. We're going to unfold it and then just fold it the other way in a triangle. Done. How are you guys doing down here? You doing okay? It's not perfect. Okay, what's next? Then we're gonna take, we're gonna unfold it and take every, the four corners and fold them into the middle. Oh. Like an envelope. Oh, like an envelope. Okay. Go, go, whatever. Okay, what's next? Oh, she's still going. Oh, she's still going. Okay. Oh, oh, that's a nice envelope. She's doing a good job there. Good, good. Good envelope. Then we're gonna flip it over so it's on the flat side. Flip it over. And the side that you want your face to be, like, like you want it to be up, then you, you like make it sure it's like that way facing up. You're gonna take the sides of the thing, and you're gonna fold it in a tiny bit. 
on both sides. Then you're gonna take like you know like a little flap for your ear. It already has like a th like a crease that you could like fold on, and just fold it. Mm. Okay. Done. Is everybody finished? Then She's gonna help. Have to do that. And then. Uh -uh. Mm. So yeah. Okay, you can cut it kind of. I'm gonna fold it that and like. How are you doing over here on yours? Doing okay? Oh, and then we're gonna also do them on the bottom corners too. Okay, so have we finished that project? Not yet. Not then yet, okay. <laughs> Let's move along here. Where your mouth I think is. we have one more project to do. Okay, then we're gonna fold it up like a triangle, and then we're gonna fold it back down. Okay. Now we've got ten minutes to finish our last project. Oh, that, that is will, everybody finished? That will it? be really quick. So I guess okay. We finish. So <laughs> then you could you fold the bottom like into a little triangle. After the program, we're going to have your parents do this and see what they've learned from observing you children. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes come words of wisdom, so parents pay close attention. So you can get an A. Are you done? Yeah. Then you're going to fold like the little arms out on both sides. And then you're done. What you could do at home is like you squash the ears. Mm -hmm. So like, like like, so you can use, not that one. Mm -hmm. You can squash ears like this. Okay. Okay, let's see what these boys are doing down here. Let's see if they've finished their project. Have you got guys finished? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go. That goes down to there. And that, go, like, do a little triangle. Okay, so now, we're going to start our third project, right? Yeah, so... Okay, what's our third eat? project? Where are the skills? We're going to make um, sticks. Oh, like we're going to make sticks. Magazine Everybody gets their or stick. newspaper sticks. Okay. You could pick newspaper or magazine. Mm. Like, and we're going to make them like, so they're like tubes and you could use them as for weaving. Or you could use them for, um, to make a game of pickup sticks. Oh, good, good. And you could also make them for other things. Okay, good. so, here you go. Okay, has everybody got their Ready? equipment? Oh, there's one down there anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna do newspaper. Actually, no, magazine. Okay, so you're gonna pick the most colorful side. You're gonna face that down. You're gonna take your um, stick, the pointy side. You're gonna, um, on the front, like I'm getting, and you wanna leave like two, three inches down. You don't want it to be totally diagonal like this. You want it to be kind of straight, almost straight, like that. Then take the little tip, roll it over that. Then you're gonna roll. It's easier if you roll like away from you. You're gonna roll, you're gonna push down on it. And you wanna make it push down on, wanna put pressure on it so it's a tight roll. But you don't wanna make it too tight that you can't get the skewer out of it. <laughs> I'm gonna see what these guys are doing down here. Oh, doing a good job, guys. Good job. Oh, 
That's all right, we'll leave it. Then you also want to pull it tight, mm. like pull the end. And after, before you um, close the tip, hey, where'd the scary go? It's a very bad one, but <clears throat> very, very bad one. <laughs> but after you um, do that, you're going to take a little glue, take a glue stick, take the glue stick, and you're going to do a little on the tip, and then do it like that. You could also use tape. Very bad one. Okay. Hey, where did the scooter go? Um, pass the glue stick down. Oh, okay. I'm going to redo this one. I think we're getting toward the end. Yeah. Ta! -da! Everything's falling. <laughs> okay. And then after you glue it, you want to, um, you want to, um, like, Twist while you pull out the skewer. What are you doing over here? Oh, good, good, good. Oh, your stick. You want to get your stick? It fell. Uh, do you want the glue? Okay. So it stays clear. Then you want to kind of like twist it while you get out so it comes out easily. She's going to need some glue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got five minutes left. So, so. I'm also going to like, okay. So after, you can make with these sticks, you can make a little vase or a pencil holder. Mm. You can make a game of pickup sticks. Wow. And now I'm going to teach you how to, um, like, if you want to do this at home, you could, um, so I'm going to teach you how to, like, tear off a piece of newspaper or um, magazine. Okay. So you take your newspaper, you want to, like, take the side of it. So everybody gets a piece of newspaper, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Everybody get your newspaper. We've got about five minutes left to do this one. This will be not, and then I need to do So you take it, you want to fold it the same way and do like a really nice crease. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on down here, guys? Let me come see what you guys are doing down here. Then you want to fold it again the other way on the same crease. And very tight, but don't rip it. <clears throat> Then you want to open it up, and on the crease line, you kind of want to like, you want to tear it. So it's easier. It's, it's easier if you take your hand like this, line it up with the crease, and you want to tear. Yeah, not really working. Ah, there. Yeah. Well, here. Well, after you tear it, there. Yeah. Not really working again. Your piece just doesn't want to tear, yes, right? Yes, it doesn't does it. want to tear. His doesn't either. Okay, we got three minutes here. I think it's the problem of not folding. It. Well, well, they can practice this at home, okay? Yeah. Well, anyway, let's have everybody hold their their project up Ow. that they have created tonight to the camera. Yeah, and it's like you could also cut this off. Okay. Well, like I say, we can work on that another yeah. time. Okay, now let's have everybody hold up their, their project this that they the have uh, done there. today. Hey, one at a I? time. One at a time. Okay. Let's start over here with our young lady. She's going to hold up her project. 
Okay, now you're gonna hold yours up to camera one there. Okay, now hold your project up and tell us, did you have fun making this? Yes. Do you think you'd like to go home and make it and show mom and dad how to make it? Yes. And maybe go to school and show the boys and girls how to make it? Yes. Oh, you did a very good job. I'm very, very proud of you. And thank you for coming tonight. You did an excellent job, okay? Next, young man, you're gonna hold yours up there. Hold yours up to camera three and tell us, did you have fun making this? Yeah. And what is this? What is it called? Do you remember? Yeah, the bear. The bear. Do you think you want to go home and show mom and dad how to do this and go to class and when school starts and show your classmates how to do it? Yeah. Oh, good. You did a good job. You're very handsome. I'm very proud you can come tonight. Thank you. All right, young man, hold yours up there. Oh, God. It's okay. Hold yours up and tell us what you made. A gummy bear. A gummy bear? Is this the first time you've made a gummy bear? Nope. Oh, you've made one before? Yes. When did you make it before? Mm, a year ago. A year ago? So you've had lots of experience doing this, right? Yes. Well, do you think you're going to go to school and teach your other classmates how to make one? Sure. Sure. And mom and dad, you're going to teach them how to make it? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Well, I'm very proud of you. You did an excellent job, and thank you for coming tonight. I'm very proud of you. And Samantha, look there at the camera and tell us what you made or showed the children how to make. Um, like a, a bear or a gummy bear or something. <laughs> or something? <laughs> Some sort of bear and a flower petal that you could use to make flowers. Oh, good. Well, you know you're an excellent teacher. Do you think you'd like to be a teacher when you graduate from high school and college? Maybe. Maybe? Mm -hmm. If not a teacher, what do you think you'd like to do? Scientist. A scientist. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, I want to thank you all for coming. Everybody did an excellent job. And I'm so proud of you to come for the first time in 32 years and show us how to do this. So let's all wave goodbye to our watching audience. Let's wave goodbye. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.